Okay. 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 I'm totally. I go hide it, Grandma. Correct me, right, guy? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I did the game thing. <laughs> YouTubers. A new form of genre of content creation that's only around seven years old at best, but it only began to become an audience starting around two years ago after gaining an overseas audience in English speaking regions. Despite the fact, the idea of using a digital personification to represent yourself having existed for a long time, the term VTuber now seems to be a blanket term covering all digital creators. The idea of digital personification is not recent. It's been here for a long time. You have like, for example, furry. And you have like, communicator channels that use like, their special avatar and stuff like that. I like their PNC Apple card to represent them too. So yeah, it's been here for a while before VQB was a thing. So VQB is a new form of digital personality. Or I don't think there's that many videos that actually confront the true state of the VTuber genre. So this is going to be my ultimate analysis of VTubers as a form of content creation. Not that I think that other commentators don't have meaningful input or are unable to accurately analyze the culture. But personally, I just think that my background would allow me to have more experience, knowledge, and perhaps even emotional investment in the topic. Without beating around the bush, I used to formally be known as a VTuber. And I still illustrate VTuber models. So Dick Birkin said that you could be a VTuber, so... They have more experience when it comes to VTubing and stuff like that. But I'm actually here to see what they're gonna say about this because I'm actually interested. VTubers are extremely hard to define. In one sense, it's a medium of content creation. A blanket term that covers a wide range of creators using a personified model or artwork to represent themselves in their content instead of a webcam. And when it comes to VTubing, yeah, you have 3D and 2D VTubing and you have PNG. And the thing is, in reality, there's like, there's are a lot of content creators that actually do the PNG format before VTubing. A good example is the Pokemon community. In the pack, I think they're still doing it now. I haven't watched a lot of Pokemon content creator recently. But the Pokemon community speculating in content videos and theory. They use a PNG format, uh, like a PNG avatar of them to represent them. Technically, they could be called VTuber if they want to be called VTuber. And you also have all the commentary channels like Gaber Spark and Rebel Khaki. Those are good examples of people using an avatar of themselves to represent themselves. In other words, I could call them as a PNG Cooper in a way, but at the same time, they are not PNG Cooper, so it could be a 3D B Cooper, 3D B Cooper, 2D B Cooper, or it could be like a B Cooper model that is QD, that is all animated, all body rigged, with head movement and all that. Right now, I'm using a 3D model, so yeah. When it comes to PNG, it's a weird very wine because when it comes to PNG VTubers, a good example of PNG VTubers are people calling themselves VTubers using a PNG image. They are mostly white streaming and like to build their audience, which is totally fine. And then it got me very confused because like, and then you have all these other people like for example Rebel Cassie or Gaber Spark or a bunch of Pokemon YouTubers that does top 10 Pokemon theories. And they're using like these Abby cards that represent themselves and stuff like that. Are they technically PNG YouTubers or not? Maybe like they could be, but they don't call themselves that. That's why like the PNG part is always confusing to me. Although I just said that we would be ignoring oh, the no. side for the time being, I think it's worth acknowledging the correlation between the two. A large majority of the first VTubers consisted of entirely corporate VTubers, and this is for pretty simple reasons. VTuber models are notoriously expensive. Yep. <laughs> yep. 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 Yep.
They are so freaking expensive. Like, dude, it's not even funny. It's just so expensive. Like, the average, I think it's around 2000 For the model and racing, it's around like 2000 to 2500 dollars in a way, it's very expensive. That's why a lot of smaller VTubers will use a free application like Freeway to start out VTubing. Or they start out with using a PNC image. For good reason. These things are extremely hard to prepare and rig. And imagine how hard it would be to find someone willing to make one in 2016. Tracking software and tracking gear are also both expensive. So, it's safe to conclude that many of the common VTuber conventions were founded by corporatism. Yep. VTuber's a medium of content. Although, now that we're knee deep into this video, I don't have to hold back when I say I don't consider it a medium as much as I consider it a genre. A medium is something that can be used for anything, but a genre is a certain implied standard. And I believe the VTuber community has many arbitrary standards that make it hard for anyone who doesn't conform to the standards to struggle a lot more than if they just flat out weren't a VTuber. And that's because... And when everyone's super... <laughs> no one will be. VTubing was their own niche. Like, it was a very small niche. And then it got blown up to, like, crazy. Now there's, like, almost everybody. At least 25% of content creators nowadays are VTubers now. I think. I might be wrong, but I think, well, 25% or... Well, that may be too much. At least 10% of content creators and streamers are VTubers now. It, be, it might be more than that, but that's what I think. But yeah, it's not like a little small niche anymore. Oh boy. <laughs> this is pretty obvious, but you need a model. Right. This is quite literally a necessary commodity that you need to be a VTuber. Obviously, if you don't have a model or image to personify your character, you can't be a VTuber. This does create a weird pay-to-play issue where you need a model to be a part of the community. And as much as people will fight you tooth and nail to convince others that a simple model like a single <laughs> image will do, there's always pressure to upgrade your model once you actually succeed. I gotta let you know, your model is really nice. I love your model. It's excellent. It's amazing. Go, so I wanna just tell you that. I like our model design. It's amazing. Most VTubers usually start out as a PNC tuber because they don't really have the money to start with. Or some of them actually start out with B Boy. B Boy are is a great application that you could create for VTuber model. Once you get more popular, you're gonna be cracker and you hey, you need to get an updated model. And as you get more and more popular, you're gonna get cracker even more to upgrade your model again. And then again. And then they get big cycle. I have seen people that upgrade their model like every five months. And I was like, how can you do that? You can't deny it. I can't deny it. There's some weird sexual oh, yeah. stuff that goes on in oh, a lot yeah. of YouTuber humor. Ada Ada, oh, wow. boob jiggle physics, oh, yeah. thighs. <sighs> Oh yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa there. I'm not trying to get demonetized. Cut the recording. Cut the recording now. VTuber Ooh. copy pastas. It's actually a surprisingly common sentiment that VTubers are unoriginal and copy-paste of each other. A lot of jokes like booba physics, ada ada, are reused time and time again. And beyond simple jokes, it means that VTubers often have similar, if not the same, content and humor style. Okay. 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 Twitch or stream. Okay, I'm totally. I don't have this problem. Correct me, right, guy? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I do the same thing. <laughs> Despite the name of VTuber being a mash of the words virtual and YouTuber, on the contrary, a large majority of VTubers yep. are Twitch streamers. <laughs> And even more so, what little VTubers are on YouTube in the first place don't really utilize the video medium to its fullest, and only use it as Twitch VOD archives or stream highlights. Not that 
there's a problem with that. You just think that, you know, a YouTube platform, it's about video production. I agree with you. We can call our goat YouTuber. But Mocha is likely not quick. Oh, yeah, I remember. It's actually hard to get monetized on YouTube more than quick. On quick, you can go to Africa, three viewers, get 50 followers, and you're good to go. When it comes to YouTube, you actually need 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, and it's actually pretty difficult if you're a small person. So I could understand why people like my quick more when I come to the streaming factor. Also, another thing when I come to the whole YouTube side of things is that most YouTubers don't even know how to edit videos. That's why they don't really make content on YouTube. That's why they turn their YouTube channel into a bard, a bard channel. Because most of the time they don't even know how to edit their own YouTube video. So they could turn it into a bard channel. There are a lot of YouTubers that actually edit content. Wow. Oh boy. <laughs> this is a good For me, one. personally, I think that the genre of YouTubers are a lost cause at this point. It makes no sense for I, a measly YouTube commentator, to try and market to the same audience as Dommy Mommy Milker Milks. I think there's definitely good creators who get overshadowed, overlooked, and unseen, specifically oh, because yeah, they can't capture the market of VTuber viewers, and then fail to market to the general oh, or yeah, right audience for their content, I know a couple. precisely because they don't focus on it or the perception of the VTuber title turns people off. It's a pretty clearly defined genre already, and trying to change that is no simple task. Yeah. The only way a genre changes is if the core watchers get bored or if the community's top creators change the standard. Although I think that's almost entirely impossible considering the current high competition making it risky for top creators to shift their content style, along with the cockhold corporate VTubers have on the industry. Yeah. I have a lot to say about the corporate VTuber industry. But that's for another day. For now, I'll just settle with saying that corporate entities are almost entirely barred from making big jumps in content style. So if there's any huge shifts in the industry, it's likely not coming from there. But on the other hand, why fix something that isn't broken? Uh -huh. As much as I don't like the type of sexual humor, the lack of diversity in content, and yeah. the high-pitched anime voices, there's clearly a demand for that type of YouTuber content. And maybe it's my fault for trying to force it. Maybe if I don't like that type of humor, then I just shouldn't watch them. But god damn it, I would love to see the day where VTubers could have a variety of humor, a variety oh, yeah. of content, and a variety yeah. of viewers. Mm -hmm. Is it wrong of me for wanting the genre to come more than, for the most part, pandering to the degenerate side of the anime community? Yeah, I, I, you know what? I agree. I actually agree with you. The reason why it's so sexual is because pandering to the anime community, it's pandering, it's pandering. And you know, a lot of anime have a lot of fan service. Yes, fan service is a very big thing within the anime community. Go VTuber community, because most of VTuber community watch anime, they're gonna be more lean into the whole fan service guy of things. So that's why a lot of more popular VTubers are very good looking VTubers that are very sexy, like for example, uh, well, BB is a good example of one. And uh, another example is Rock and Melody. Like it, we have the fan base, we have the community, it's mostly Okaku and Okaku like sexual things. That's literally how marketing works. You got to find things that correlate to that community and then grow off of that. To Melky Milo or Melko Milo or I don't know how I say her name. Yeah, I make a her name. I'm so sorry. But I'm going to let you know I really like the video. This video is really good. I love the editing. And I agree with you with a lot of things. Like, most VTubers fall into the whole sex woke up and the whole need of that. Because guess what? That's literally how um, marketing works. And yeah, it kind of sucks. Like, I want to, like, grow myself. I think I'm a unique VTuber. I'm legally deaf. And the problem with that is because I don't bop into that little style of being sexual or having a very crazy VTuber model or anything. 
I'm just like out of the whole goggle and I just feel like out of place sometimes. It's hard for a unique VTuber to grow when they don't follow that. This video is really good. I totally recommend you watching the full version of this right now. Make sure you subscribe to them because you, I love this video. Like this person makes good content. I'm gonna let you know. Cut them out, subscribe to them, give them all my support, be like, yo, Kugly sent me here, or something like that. But good video, seriously, Milky. Good video. If you want more videos like this, let me know. Because I actually like doing this video. This is actually pretty fun, but just let me know. But I'll go make sure to cut out the Discord server and the description below. But overall, see ya next time.